The Little Ghost Who Didn't Like To Be Scary Layla, the little ghost, lived in a castle in the clouds. The castle was full of spiders who weaved their webs in every corner they could find. Layla loved flying through the castle and playing with the animals who lived there. But every night, just before the clock struck midnight, Layla got very sad. She was supposed to haunt the castle, but she was afraid. To be a proper ghost, she was supposed to make the gates creak and blow out all the candles and carve scary looking pumpkins and shout boo at everyone who passed. But Layla was a kind ghost who didn't like scaring people. She preferred to feed the birds and stroke the cats and play with the bats who lived in the attic of the castle. When she looked at the calendar and saw that Halloween was coming closer, Layla knew something had to happen. Halloween was the most important day of the year for ghosts. She went outside to talk to the old owl who was known to be very wise. I don't know what to do. Layla said to the owl, I really don't like haunting. I prefer to be nice. Why do you feel you need to haunt? The old owl asked. Everyone knows ghosts need to be evil and scare people, Layla explained. Especially on Halloween. Just because everyone says that doesn't mean it's true for you, the wise owl said. Sometimes you need to do what feels right. Layla thought about that for a long time and then she decided that the owl had been right. The next time the clock struck midnight, Layla oiled the gate so it would no longer creak. Then she carved a very friendly looking pumpkin and lit all the candles. Then 
she sat down with her friends without shouting boo. She was a very happy ghost. Oh, that was a caring story. I liked the way Layla realised she didn't want to be a scary ghost, but she didn't know what to do about it. Speaking to the wise old owl, and he said to do what feels right, Layla knew she could be the friendly ghost she wanted to be. Sometimes we don't know what to do, but usually doing what feels right is the best thing to do. I hope you've enjoyed today's Shed Time story. And if you want to, you can like, share, follow and subscribe to Shed Time Stories. And then you will be ready for the next book for us to share together. Bye-bye.